Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Jeff from AWS. Today I'm speaking with Sumir from London Stock Exchange Group. Welcome. Hi. Give me a sense of what the business is of LLCG. So London Stock Exchange Group is a uh, group of uh, financial companies which is more than the stock exchange business. We also have uh, data delivery business to our, our external clients. Let's talk about your app. All right, this is our information services division's data warehouse, which is developed mostly in Redshift, but then we have uh, our front office implementation, which gives the data to the clients, and then there is a processing engine in the back end. All right, let's start with the user and work our way through the architecture. Sure. So in this architecture, what we have is our uh, institutional client platforms. They request data via microservices architecture in which they call in our different APIs and get the data back from our API gateway implementation. What happens next? So from the API gateway, the logic is being built so as to give the, the um, to ask the data back from the lambdas and then um, from there, you can uh, either go directly to the Redshift if it is a historical ask, or go to the PostgreSQL if it's an operational data store. Now, how do you secure and protect this? So what we do is we authenticate and authorize our user via Cognito service, in which we are using IAM and SRP. What is SRP? Secure Remote Protocol, which in which we have uh, used Cognito, as well as we, we have uh, written our own libraries that we are contributing to to the community. Okay, and what happens next? We've got authenticated requests, we're activating our Lambda functions, yeah. we hit our databases. So this is our caching layer in which uh, either the institution clients go to the PostgreSQL or our mobile users or other client or web users go to get to the Elastic, uh, Elastic, uh, Elastic Cache here in which uh, what we have, we have deployed our web app onto the Beanstalk. Okay, so and Beanstalk is fully independent of the APIs and the Lambda functions. Yeah, that's another channel of data delivery. Got it. Let's talk a little bit about the, the database layers and how you separate the, the use of RDS and Redshift. So Redshift, is, like I said, is our data warehouse in which we have the full depth and breadth of data, which is uh, hundreds and thousands of indices worth over uh, 20 years or so. And our PostgreSQL is our operational data store which carries the, the indices for only last year. Starting from the other end, we talked about data at Redshift. How did we get it there? So we have multiple sources of information and which are being processed into S3. From there, we import the data using Uzi workflow deployed onto EMR. And there, the EMR workflows process the data, transform the data, and put that into post ETL S3 from where it's loaded into copied into Redshift for further consumption. How often does EMR process? This runs 24 by 7 because of the nature of the business. So you're, you're always reprocessing, always keeping things up to date. Yes. Was this your first architecture or did you evolve this over time? So this architecture evolved over the period of time. Initially it was all based on, on Redshift and EMR and then uh, using an iterative approach we came up to this architecture. How long did it take to get things up and running? So initially the whole uh, implementation was supposed to be built in 18 months using uh, Hadoop-based implementation. What uh, Redshift and other artifacts helped us is uh, finish this product within four to five months. Happy managers, happy developers? Absolutely. And happy users? Yes, absolutely, have very happy clients. Where would you like to take it next? So now that we have heard in the reInvent that we, uh, Amazon, is uh, doing uh, releasing Redshift Spectrum. What we would plan to do is to take EMR away from it and use the Redshift Spectrum as it. Looks great. Sumer, this has been really interesting and I appreciate your sharing it with us. Thanks for watching, this is my architecture.